you guys, we're almost ready for our migration into iTunes, which will happen within your device. You don't need to do anything or look for anything in the iTunes store. You just go from your device and you will be directed um, to do that. So I did want to show you something that is important to look for in advance and write down, and that has to do with your email and your password. So let's go ahead and look at that right now. If you're in your client records, uh, let's actually go past this. Let's uh, go right into the system overview and at the navigation bar, either at the user records or right here at the system overview, these three horizontal lines known as your navigation bar, tap on them and then locate your email. Now write that email down and go ahead. And if you don't know what your password is at this time, completely log out of the system. We're going to log out right here. You're going to say, yes, we want to log out. It will log us out and then look underneath your email and password. And it's a little hard to see. It says forgot password. Type in forgot password and begin to go ahead and type in your email address. Once your email address is typed in, just ask it to send the password. Now it is going to send a long password that is generated by our computer system. We don't know what your password is. You're in control of it. Once you've gotten that retrieved and you're inside the system, it's absolutely possible for you to uh, go ahead and check your email and then change your password once you're inside the system. So we can go here. What I can do is I can go back in here. I can look for the password. There's the latest and greatest password. And so what I'll do is I'll copy it from my iPad here and I'm going to paste it into the genius right here. We'll paste it. We'll log in and then I'll show you how to, how to change the password. So now just go ahead and select a client. Let's just select a client. We'll just make up a client here and just whatever a date of birth. Okay, go inside the program. And then what we need to do is skip the voice in the picture. So do this on your own device. Go to the navigation bar and you want to look for change password. So you have to log out in order to do this and get a computer generated password. Once you have that and you've logged in, go ahead and paste that password and then enter the new password that you'd like to use. So whatever it is, I'm just going to do a temporary password here. So whatever your password is that you want to put in there and then just confirm it and you will be good to go. So that is how you log out reset the password, and then set the password from within the program. Make sure you, today you do that. You write down the email associated with your genius and your password. See you back in the next video. Thanks so much.